Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be going over a very serious topic. Now, this is something that I have been experiencing pretty much my entire life. As you guys know, I have been bullied, and I am also an advocate for domestic violence, which I will probably be doing a story time on that as well. So I feel like I am very, very... When it comes very experienced when it comes to talking on this topic of jealousy and envy because i'm someone who has gone through it so i have been wanting to do this video for a long time now um but of course i have been busy you know um and um this is something that i have had planned for a while now so i wanted to give you guys a 10 signs of what to look out for when you just suspect that someone may be jealous of, or envious of you, the best thing for you to do is just for you to avoid them, just pray for them, but then at the same time, just keep your distance because just think about all the people that's been murdered, all the people that maybe have committed suicide or, you know, like had their job sabotage, relationships sabotage, you know, a lot of that stuff, most of it it stems from jealousy and i feel like it's a demonic spirit within people that make them feel like they have to be jealous of other people so therefore they have to go through anything that they can to try to destroy the next person so you know some people may not look at it like it's a big deal but i definitely feel like um jealousy is a huge huge issue in our society and I feel like it's something that needs to be addressed. So I definitely want to help you guys out as much as possible. And I just went ahead and just looked it up. Envy. So envy is a lot, a lot worse than jealousy is. You know, we all get jealous from time to time. You know, if it's small, then it's fine. But if when it be, starts to become to the point where it turns into hate, that's when it's a serious issue. So I just looked up the definition of envy just to give you guys a dictionary version. And it's a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. So basically when they see something within you that they may feel like they lack or they may feel like you know, they don't have, that's when envy becomes a part of how they feel. And when they start to become envious, it could turn into hate. And then you're wondering why all these bad things continue to happen to you because the people around you just may be envious. Now, this can come in the form of a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, friendship, family members, anybody can have the, that quality of envy within them. It does not discriminate. That spirit of envy can get inside of anybody. And if you're not careful, it can destroy your life. That's why it's very, care that's why it's very important to be mindful of the company that you keep and the people that you surround yourself by because Satan at this point, he will use anybody that he can to try to destroy you and to try to get you, knock you off your purpose. He wants you to second guess yourself. He makes wants you to feel bad about yourself. And he puts people specifically in your life that are full of envy, full of hate. And they their main objective is to tear you down as much as possible because they're waiting on your demise. They're waiting on you to fail. They're waiting. They don't want anything good going for you. So it's very care is very important to be very careful of who you associate yourself with I, it doesn't matter how long you've known somebody you know or how much they mean to you take it from me because i'm someone with a very very big heart and in the past i used to get chance after chance after chance to people only to get stabbed in the back and to be repeatedly hurt so, you know, that saying goes, when people show you who they are, believe them. If somebody is showing these signs in your life, cut them loose. It doesn't matter who they are, you know, mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, anybody. 
you know, cut them loose or if you just can't cut them loose, the best advice I can tell you is just to keep your distance away. Just be very careful because I believe that's probably the reason why a lot of people are no longer here now, especially people that have been murdered. Majority of the time it stems from envy. So just be very careful. So we're going to get into the video and the first sign that I have that someone is jealous or envious of you is that they put you down and they hurl insults at you. They will say anything to belittle you and make you feel like something is wrong with you, whether it's a feeling of unworthiness or discontent. There are a lot of different characteristics associated with envy. So I want to elaborate on the first one. I feel like that is a very, very, that is a very telling sign that someone is envious of you when they hurl insults at you. They can say you're ugly. They can say, they can talk about the way you dress. They can talk about the way you look. They can say mean things about the way you talk. They can just say anything to try to destroy your accomplishments just everything that God has made you to be that's positive, they will try to belittle that within you and make you feel as if you're not worthy and just, they, they just say some horrible things sometimes. So that's the first sign that you can look out for and you can tell that someone is very envious of you. And sometimes they even disguise their hate as a joke. So what they'll do is they'll say, you know, they'll say some hateful things or hurtful things to you. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm just joking. You have to watch out for people like that. You have to watch out for people that disguise their hate under a joke. Because more than likely that, per that person is envious of you. Now, I'm not trying to say someone giving you constructive criticism is different from someone hurling an insult at you. Constructive criticism is supposed to help you become a better person. Now, if you do something wrong and that person checks you or they say, you know what? I don't like, I dislike what you did. I dislike what you said. I do not like the way you made me feel. That's totally different versus someone calling you the B word or saying you're ugly or calling you out your name or just, you know, just disrespecting you disrespecting you as a person that is a very very telling sign that someone is envious of you and again what do we do with those people we stay away from them okay so the second sign i have and if you guys see me looking down just excuse me because i did leave notes on my phone right here so i'm just going to be reading off my phone throughout the video so the second sign is they will lie and make up untrue stories about you. They want to try and make you seem like a bad person. Basically, they have a crabs in the bucket mentality. And most of the time, it can be the ones closest to you. So this one really does hit home for me. Because when people see that you're a great person, they see that you're succeeding, they see God blessing you with all these different things going on in your life, and they will try to lie on you. And that's another thing about narcissists too. They will make up lies on you. They will get people to turn against you. And those people, of course, are called flying monkeys. And before you know it, you have a large group of people who dislike you and you don't know why. That's a sign that someone is very envious of you. The fact that they have to lie on your character, they have to lie on your name, they have to go around to different people, turning people against you. That's someone who does not have your best interests at heart and that is something to look out for. So just be careful with people like that. Because that is not the way that anyone, anyone should never lie on you. They should never lie on your character. And if something is said about you behind your back to them, someone who really cares about you, they would ask you about those things. They would be like, oh, you know what? So-and-so said that you did this and you did that. Is that true? They wouldn't just immediately take that person's side and just take it as facts because guess what there's always three sides to every story you know 
your side, that person's side, and the truth. And, you know, God knows all and he sees all. Also, beware of people who have a crabs in the bucket mentality. So that's what crabs do when they're in the bucket. Guess what they do? They pull the rest of the crabs down. So be aware of those type of people because when they see you lifting up, they see you elevating in life and they see you doing, being great and doing amazing things. Guess what they want to do? They want to pull you down as much as they can. And that is someone who does not care about you. They don't have your best interest at heart. And that is another sign of an envious person. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting very passionate about this, you guys, because like I said, I've been through it all. So I'm definitely someone who can speak on this topic. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is my third sign. The moment you come to them with good news, they do not congratulate you or they have nothing positive to say but yet you see them congratulating other people around you, but they refuse to give you any type of credit for any of the good things that you've done, any of the great things that you've accomplished, but then you see them congratulating other people. So I see a lot of this going on on social media, somebody who you think is your friend or a close relative, you see them congratulating everybody else except for you. The moment something good happens for you, they're quiet. So be careful of people like that because those people are secretly envious of you. They don't want to give you credit. They just simply want to just treat you like you don't exist, like you're a ghost, you know? And the main reason why is because it hurts them inside to give you credit. It hurts them inside to, you know, give you what you're entitled to. It, it doesn't cost anything to say congratulations that is free. You know what I mean? Doesn't cost anything to say, how are you doing? You know, good luck on your new job interview. You know, congratulations on your new house. Congratulations on your new engagement, your new wedding. That is free. You know what I mean? But an envious person can never come out and openly say, you know what? I'm proud of you. Everything that you've done, everything you've accomplished, who you are as a person, I'm proud of you for the things that you've done. You know, they 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 will never you will you will be waiting forever for them to give you a compliment. So don't even put your value into other people. That's another thing that I've learned as well. Do not wait on people to congratulate you. Congratulate yourself. Be your biggest fan. Be your own biggest fan, because you know people can come and go in your life. They come and go. Sometimes the people who you feel will be there forever are the people who will sometimes end up stabbing you in the back. So don't even wait on them to congratulate you. And then if you see them doing that, that's a sign of a fake person. That's a sign of an envious person. So you have every right to cut that person loose and to cut them, to remove them out of your life because that's not someone that you need. That's not someone that you want to be inside of your life. Like at the end of the day, we should all be empowering each other. We should be adding value to each other's life. We should be uplifting each other. And if we can't do that, then what's the point of us being there? What is the point of us being friends? What is the point of, you know, me having you and me having you in my life or you having me in my life if we can't congratulate each other? There's just no point whatsoever. So be careful about that. So number four, it ties into basically what I said earlier. I'm, I don't know why I put this down again, but maybe it just me needs to be said again. They like and support everyone around them but you. So just pay attention who applaud you and pay attention who does not clap for you. Those people who applaud you and who clap for you, when you're achieving things, those are the people who care about you. Those are the people who are not envious of you. They want to see you shine. They want to see good things happening for you. But the people who do not, who are envious of you and they don't care for you, you will never get a congratulations from them. And then if you ever do get one, it's not genuine. So just be careful. So number five. They are never satisfied 
They are, sorry, <laughs> they are never satisfied with anything that you do. So that's a big one. Because some people in life, no matter what you do for them, they are never satisfied. They always complain. They're ungrateful. It's a reason why they're like that towards you. Are they, just ask that question. Are they being this way towards everybody? Now, some people, you know, we do have a lot of narcissists on this planet. So some people are just ungrateful people. But just look out for that because... If they're never satisfied with anything that you do for them, or even if you're not doing for, for them, you're doing for yourself, and they always have something negative to say, that's a sign that someone does not want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you excel. They want you to stay low so they can feel like they're above you. Never let anyone water you down so that they can feel like they're above who you are. God made everyone specifically who they are and they are made special in his image so you never have to water yourself down for anybody and those are the type of people that you do not need inside your life you do not need in your corner if you have to water yourself down to appease to them so just shine your light everywhere you go do not let anyone like that stop you from being happy and from just succeeding and just for from allowing good things to happen in your life. Okay, we're like halfway through with this. So number six, they are in secret competition with you. So that's a really big one. Then I have put a comment on underneath it too. So basically, do not shrink yourself because someone is uncomfortable and unhappy with who they are. And if that is the case where they're asking you to shrink yourself down for them, then that means that they aren't for you. So inside life, you're going to meet people who are for you. Then you're also going to meet people who are not for you. If you have to shrink yourself down and water yourself down to make someone else feel comfortable with their insecurities, they're not for you. And what I mean by that, I want to elaborate on that. What I mean by that is if you like to be extra like me. I'm kind of extra because I like to be glamorous from time to time. No, I wear my makeup. I wear my hair. You know, I like to change my hair out a lot. I like to dress up glam. You know, I like to just look very feminine and beautiful. Also, outside of looks, I'm very intelligent. I'm intellectual. I like to talk about everything. I can hold a conversation about just any topic that you can think of. Another thing about me too, I'm very loving, I'm very caring, I'm very giving, and just a genuine person. And outside of me, if you're one of those people as well, who are talented, so you have a lot of gifts. You can sing, you can paint, you can write, you can, what are some other things? You have your own business. You you just have it going on. <laughs> you know, that's you're a boss. You have it going on. You have everything. You're successful. You have a nice house. You have a nice car. You know, outside of materialistic things, you could just be a great person on the inside. You're just not saying you're perfect, but you're just beautiful. You're beautiful on the inside. You're caring. You're loving. You're respectful to people. You know, there are going to be, you're going to attract a lot of jealous people. You really are. Just for you simply being who you are on the inside. Looks play a part in it too. Because some, some people can look at you and they can see that you're beautiful. And they immediately hate you. They immediately do not like you. You keep wondering, you know, you, you're like, why does this person not like me? I've never done anything to them. But yet every time I come around, they have a bad attitude. They're mistreating me. They're rolling their eyes at me. What did I do? So that's the worst thing that you can do is question yourself because someone insecurities about themselves is not your problem. That has everything to do with them and has nothing to do with you. So you keep on shining. If you want to do whatever you want to do to yourself, if you want to accomplish whatever you, you want to accomplish, the possibilities are endless. That's what God wants you to be. That's what Jesus, Jesus died on this cross. He died on the cross for our sins and he died so that we can be beautiful creatures in his eyes. And that's 
what he sees us as. You know, he sees us as amazing creatures. As long as you're doing right by people and you're not hurting anybody, you know what I mean? I say go for it. What is what is what's the problem with being who you are and shining and being the best that you can be? Absolutely nothing. So if you have someone that is around you that's making you feel that way, then you need to cut them loose, okay? You need to let them go because you should never have to shrink yourself down to make someone else feel happy with themselves. If they're not happy with themselves, that's an inside job. They need to come to God and to go get therapy. You know, they need to talk to Jesus and do the work within themselves so that they can be happy with themselves. But again, that's not your problem. So the only thing I can say is just pray for those people and just keep your distance away. So this is number seven. This is a really, really big one because I'm very big on energy. So you can sense the negative energy. This is number seven, sorry. You can sense the negative energy when you're around them. So the moment you walk into a room, you are greeted with unwanted negative energy, dirty looks, you even have your chatty patties and your gossip betties who will talk about you. They'll whisper something in their ear to, to, they'll whisper something to the next person and say something bad about you. And then you get that feeling of uncomfortableness. So the, what I can say is always trust your gut instinct. If you walk into a room and you're getting dirty looks and you see people rolling their eyes at you and when you go around them, you immediately pick up on negative energy, that's God warning you that you need to stay away from those people. Those are the type of people who will ruin your life and who will do things to hurt you. So do not second guess your instinct. If you get a feeling that something is wrong, Trust your gut instinct. Trust God. That's another thing too. Trust his voice because I've been in many situations where God has warned me about certain people and I would second guess myself and I would question, you know, whether it was really right or not. And that's the worst thing that you can do because God puts that instinct within us for a reason and it's to save, it could possibly save your life. So if you get that feeling, you know, that something is just not right about a person or a place, just trust what your instinct is saying. Trust what God is telling you. And the best thing that you can do is just remove yourself out of that situation because we cannot control how other people treat us. We can't control what they think or how they feel or what they say, but we can remove ourselves out of the situation. So one of the sayings that I like is, don't blame the clown for being a clown. Blame yourself for joining the circus. So you know what? You, you have choices in life. God doesn't even take our choices away. He gives everybody free will. So you have a choice to either to walk away from people who are making you uncomfortable, people who are committed to misunderstanding you, who are disrespectful, who mistreat you. You do not have to put up with that. That's one of the things that I had to learn because, you know, when I had moved to Houston, one of the girls that I met, she was like, you are way too nice. And I've been told that multiple times throughout my life that I'm too nice. And I was like always wondering, you know, I'm too nice. What do they mean by I'm too nice? There is a such thing as being too nice. There's a thing as such thing as being naive and gullible and just assuming that just because you have a good heart, that everyone else has the same heart that you have. And that's not always the case. Now, there are some good people out here, but there are also a lot of evil people out here too. So if you get a feeling within your heart that something is not right, please trust your instinct because again, that could save your life. That could save you from a lot of drama, from a lot of heartache, pain. Do not go where you're not wanted and do not go or stay in a situation that you're uncomfortable with. Okay, so now we're going to move on to number eight. So the number eight 
sign of someone being envious or jealous of you is they will not invite you or include you in functions. They will exclude you to make you feel like you're unwanted because they are threatened by your presence. So this is another big one too. You Have you ever wondered why certain family members, they invite everybody else you know, in the family to a certain event, but then you never get an invite? Or so-called friends of yours, they invite everybody else in their circle, but you never get an invite. You're just always left out. Most of the time, the reason why they, they do not invite you to those places is so that you will not steal the shine. They don't want, they're envious of you. They're jealous. They don't want all the shine on you. They don't want all the compliments going towards you. You know, you looking good. You feeling good. You bring positive energy. You have an amazing personality. You know, you're intelligent. You just have, you're just amazing. You're just amazing, amazing person. And they would hate to see all the attention go on you. They would hate to see you get to steer, to basically steal their shine. They don't want you to steal their shine. So that's why you do not get an invite to certain places. So the best thing I can do again, cut those people loose and just stay away from them. And if you ever have any questions of whether someone is envious or jealous or their spirit isn't right, just talk to God and pray because that's what I do. When I have a feeling about a particular friend or family member, you know, and I'm not sure about that person's intentions and their spirit, the first thing that I do is pray. And Excuse me. What God usually does is he shows me people in a dream. And when I see that person in a dream, he shows me who they are. And then from there, I will know exactly what to do. And another thing too, like you can also tell by their actions, you know, people can say anything. They can come up with any words to tell you. They can say they love you. They can say they care about you, but actions do not lie in energy.